a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Frank Reich Frank Michael Wright Jr. is an American football coach and former player who is the head coach of the Indianapolis Colts of the National Football League. Reich played college football at the University of Maryland and was chosen by the Buffalo Bills in the third round of the 1985 NFL Draft. He also played for the Carolina Panthers, New York Jets, and Detroit Lions. Reich and Bills starting quarterback Jim Kelly formed one of the longest tenured backup and starter tandems, playing together for nine seasons from 1986 to 1994. For a time, Reich had the distinction of having led his team to the biggest comeback victory ever in both the college and NFL ranks, including a 32-point comeback for the Bills in 1993, starting as an intern with the Colts in 2006. Reich has also coached with the Arizona Cardinals and San Diego Chargers. As the offensive coordinator of the Philadelphia Eagles in 2017, Reich won Super Bowl 52. High School Years Reich attended Cedar Crest High School in Lebanon, Pennsylvania where he played baseball, football, and basketball. Reich started on the football team for his last two years in high school. He played quarterback in the Big 33 football classic following his senior year of high school. College career Reich was accepted to the University of Maryland on an athletic scholarship and played for the Maryland Terrapins football team as backup to starter Boomer Esiason for three years. The biggest highlight of Reich's college career was the comeback he led against the Miami Hurricanes on November 10, 1984 at the Orange Bowl Stadium. Reich came off the bench to play for Stan Gelbor, who had previously replaced him as the starter after Reich separated his shoulder in the fourth week of the season against Wake Forest. Quarterback Bernie Kosa had led Miami to a 31-0 halftime lead. At the start of the third quarter, Reich led the Terrapins on multiple scoring drives. Three touchdowns in the third quarter and a fourth at the start of the final quarter turned what was a blowout into a close game. With Miami leading 34-28, Reich hit Greg Hill with a 68-yard touchdown pass, which deflected off the hands of Miami safety Darrell Fullington, to take the lead. Maryland scored once more to cap a 42-9 seconds half and won 42-40, completing what was then the biggest comeback in NCAA history. National Football League Reich was drafted by the Buffalo Bills in the third round in the 1985 NFL Draft. The Bills already had drafted future Hall of Famer Jim Kelly in 1983 and when Kelly signed with the Bills in 1986. Reich was relegated to the backup role. Reich got his first start when Kelly went down with a shoulder injury in 1989. Reich led the Bills to two straight victories. He rallied the Bills in the fourth quarter by throwing two drives down the field for a 23-20 victory over the previously unbeaten Los Angeles Rams. This first game for Reich occurred in front of a rich stadium crowd of 76,231 and a Monday night football audience. Reich returned the following year, however, when Kelly was injured again late in the 1990 season. Reich provided the Bills with two key wins, clinching them the AFC East title and home field advantage throughout the playoffs. During the final game of the 1992 regular season, the Houston Oilers defeated Buffalo 27-3 in Houston, where Kelly suffered strained ligaments in his knee and yielded to Reich to finish the game in his place, with Kelly out. Reich took the reins as the starter for the wildcard game the following week, on January 3, 1993. The wildcard game was a rematch with the Oilers, hosted in Buffalo, where they led the Bills 35-3 early in the third quarter, but Reich then led the Bills on a 38-3 run en route to a 41-38 overtime victory. The rally from a 32-point deficit was the largest comeback in NFL history. Reich started his second consecutive playoff game, as the Bills defeated the Pittsburgh Steelers 24-3 in the divisional round. This made Reich one of a handful of quarterbacks who is undefeated as a starter in postseason play, as well as the only one with more than one start to his credit. Kelly recovered 
and started the AFC Championship where the Bills defeated the Miami Dolphins 29-10. During Super Bowl 27, the Bills faced the Dallas Cowboys and Reich again replaced an injured Kelly in the first half of the Super Bowl. Reich led the Bills to 10 points to make the score 31-17 with a possible comeback well within the Bills' capability as the third quarter concluded. However, in the fourth quarter, the Cowboys scored 21 unanswered points to win 52-17, and Reich finished the game with two interceptions. After giving the Bills one more comeback victory late in the 1993 NFL season, Reich signed with the expansion Carolina Panthers in March 1995 to start off their first year. He threw the first touchdown pass in franchise history to former Bills player Pete Metzelaars in Memorial Stadium in Clemson, as Bank of America Stadium was still under construction. The Panthers had drafted Kerry Collins as their intended franchise quarterback, but Reich was the starter for the first three games until Collins was deemed ready to take the starting job. He was sacked nine times on September 3 at Atlanta, a franchise record he shares with Cam Newton. Coincidentally, Reich and Collins hail from rival high schools in Lebanon, Pennsylvania, with Collins having started his high school career at Cedar Crest's crosstown rival, Lebanon High School. Reich was then signed by the New York Jets where he started for seven games in 1996. In 1997, Reich signed with the Detroit Lions, reuniting him with his coach at Maryland, Bobby Ross. Reich appeared in six games in 1997, all in relief, and six games in 1998, including two starts. Reich retired following the 1998 NFL season. In 2014, NFL Hall of Fame executive Bill Polian, who was general manager of the Bills when they drafted Reich, called him the greatest backup quarterback in NFL history. Indianapolis Colts Reich was a coaching intern for the Indianapolis Colts from 2006 to 2007. In 2008, he served as an offensive coaching staff assistant for the Colts. After Tony Dungy retired following the 2008 season, former Colts quarterback coach Jim Caldwell took over as head coach and Reich became the new quarterback's coach. Reich switched to wide receivers coach in 2011 but was dismissed when the entire coaching staff was released after a 2-14 season. San Diego Chargers He was hired by the San Diego Chargers along with Wisenhunt in 2013. When Wisenhunt left to become head coach of the Tennessee Titans, Reich was promoted to offensive coordinator. On January 4, 2016, he was fired from his position as offensive coordinator after the Chargers finished 31st in rushing and struggled on offense. Return to Indianapolis On February 11, 2018, he was named the new head coach of the Colts, seven years after he had been fired as wide receivers coach. After losing his first career game against the Cincinnati Bengals, Reich earned his first win as a head coach over the Washington Redskins. In week three against his former team the Eagles, with the Colts down 2016 with seconds left in the game, Reich pulled starting quarterback Andrew Luck and put in Jacoby Brissett to attempt a Hail Mary pass from his own 46-yard line. Brissett overthrew several players in the back of the end zone and the Colts lost the game. The move was questioned by some journalists and fans, and led to some speculation about the health of Luck's shoulder. Although Reich and Luck both said it was purely, because Brissett had a stronger throwing arm. The following week against the Houston Texans, Luck led the Colts back from down 28-10 in the third quarter, including a game-tying two-point conversion with 51 left, however the team lost in overtime, 37-34. Reich was the center of controversy after Indianapolis failed to convert a fourth and fourth on their own 43 and the Texans kicked the game-winning field goal. Although he afterwards said, I'll just address it now. We're not playing to tie. We're going for it 10 times out of 10. Personal life Reich's father, Frank, played for Penn State from 1953 to 1955 as a center and linebacker. He was drafted by the Philadelphia Eagles in the 14th round of the 1956 NFL draft, but did not play in the National Football League. 
Frank Craig Sr. was a technology education teacher and football coach at Lebanon High School and retired in 1992. Throughout Reich's NFL career, he remained a devout Christian. He is a motivational speaker utilizing the great comebacks and the importance of God as a main keynote of his speeches. He credits the song, In Christ Alone, by Michael English as his inspiration. He belongs to the Premier Speakers Bureau where his main topics are communication and teamwork. Reich attended the Charlotte campus of Reformed Theological Seminary, Charlotte, North Carolina, where he earned a Master of Divinity degree. He served as president of RT's Charlotte campus from 2003 to 2006. Reich was also a pastor at Ballantyne Presbyterian until he moved to Indianapolis. While living in Buffalo, New York in the early 1990s, Reich met a man named Jim Case who he hired to build his deck and refinish his basement. A friendship between Reich and Case formed, and they started a company together called Pro Display Incorporated which specialized in sports memorabilia. Their main item was a football stand inspired by Reich's father, who created a wooden stand shaped like a football field where the goalposts held up the football. Reich had co-founded a retail business in the 1990s that he started with friend Boomer Esiason and two others. They were part owners of Jim and Chuck's Boot Shop. The store expanded over the New England area with 15 stores where they still remain today. On the January 30, 2010 episode of Saturday Night Live, John Hamm portrayed Reich in a game time with Randy and Greg skit. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Would you like to know more?